Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today a new video about Final Fantasy XIV and yet another video about expert crafting. Last one was a bit of a big guide about it uh, to give you every tips I can give. Uh, I did one mistake with Malleable uh, when I, sp I spoke about it. I said that um, do the, doing basic touch in Malleable uh, status is good but uh, in fact, it's more like if you do basic touch uh, during malleable, uh, the next action, so standard touch, have a chance to have another condition. Um, so that's why I did that. Uh, and I still do it sometimes a bit less because of today video. Um, so for today video, this will be a shorter guide, I hope. Um, I will show you one draft or two uh, in uh, one slow and one really fast uh, just to explain a few things so we are in firmament as you can see um, I will hide that I will do as always um, like uh, crafting so I need chili crab Commanding Craftman Syrup, I open my um, recipe list, start the craft, and I will not exactly um, do as always. I have that. So I have that first macro, which will do my f my opener. So the four first action of my craft, and um, and no, I just have to finish the progress part, as I said in the previous video. Like this. Um, now we will do the second part of the craft, which is uh, most random and um, yeah, random of the craft. It depends on the opening and it, it, it depends on the status. The goal of the quality part, and I didn't explain that quite well, is to um, up either quiet uh, stacks to 11 as fast as possible this is really important so I up in a quiet manipulation is still up so I up innovation I have a prime status so I will um, take care of taking manipulation up so I have 10 stack on it and I can start um, grinding some inner quiet uh, I have a good so I must use precise touch because it will give me two stack in one go I will continue. Innovation is down, so I will up it again. Put on touch on that. Again. We have a pliant, so why not using a high, uh, high CP cost uh, action? I will use preparatory touch. Preparatory touch gives two stacks also, so we are close to 11. Um, now what I can do, I will do a pretend touch, so am I, I am at um, 10 stack, I will do a pretend touch again, because of sturdy it will help my durability, like that. So now we have 11 stacks, we have um, 20, 21,000 quality. And a bit, and we have 178 CP. So, this is time to think about the finisher. The finisher is what will finish the quality part, and in today's video, it will end the craft totally. So, I have 178 CP, and I have, as you may have uh, uh, noticed, a lot of macro here. I will explain that if we have a website. 
just after the craft. But um, this is a list of macro I made, thanks to a guide um, you can find on Reddit. So I will put a link on, on the of the quick guide and the uh, document I used to do that. So basically, uh, you, uh, the name of my macros is like that. I have the CP cost, the durability cost, and um, the quality needed. So for I need 41 durability, I will have 37, so that's not good. This one is good, so I can do that, but I need 24k. Um, uh, 24k uh, quality. Uh, I can do another brilliant touch here, so I have a bit more quality. Uh, and I'll check other things like that. So this one is 146, 31. Durability and 22.8000 quality. So I can do that and I will do that. And my craft is done, and this is as easy as that. Um, I will explain now. Um, things about the website, um, the uh, spreadsheet I used. Um, so this is something you can find on a, a write and guide, you can, uh, a guide you can find on Reddit. Uh, this spreadsheet is done, it was made by Naomi uh, 0436, I believe it's a Discord account. Um, you can see that there is uh, a stat thing on the top of the spreadsheet. Um, you have to put here your control. Um, on the right, food, tea, and spec is what you use as control buff. For quality target, uh, this is how much quality you want for your craft, uh, like the minimum you want for your craft. That's what I was. That's what I used, so 58k, um, because this is a minimum um, uh, quality needed to turn in your uh, expert craft. So that's why I use that. And you have a list of finisher, and you can check uh, what you may use. Um, yesterday I was using that spreadsheet directly. Uh, I wasn't using uh, macros, but the problem is. I spent a lot of time doing that, and then you have to click on each uh, skills you need. That's why I made a list of macros on the spreadsheet that I copied. Um, I will uh, make a copy paste or something, uh, an online document with all the macros. Um, I will change the name uh, with the good ones, but. I think that's a good thing um, if you want to go in, to go all in in uh, expert craft. Anyway, I won't make that video any longer. That's not required. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video, that quick guide. I tried to make it as fast as possible again. Um, thank you a lot to everyone that subscribed to my channel lately. Uh, we are 94 at the moment I speak. Um, that's really nice. Uh, I never expected that much people were well, saying that for fun. And thank you to put some trust on what I say or stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.